What up, fight fans? This is Square Circle Productions coming with a new rant. Uh, this is just a follow up on the Brian Jennings Luis Ortiz fight. Well, it's official. Luis Ortiz rema uh, remains the uh, WBA interim champion with a knockout of Brian Jennings. Um, like I said, it's really not a shock to me, even though I was going for uh, Brian Jennings. I did say, if you listen to my rant from last night, I did say that uh, dude had a very good chance because he's a Cuban fighter and he had over 350 uh, amateur bouts and the Cuban fighters are known as good fighters. So, you know, I, I, I wasn't in his size and I, I watched a clip of him fight, man, and he had some surprising speed for a dude his size, you know, I mean, he moved around hey, real quick, like, man, you know, dude light on his feet and everything, so I was like, hey, man, it, you know, and I said he might be a, a handful for Jennings, but, you know, like I said, I mean, uh, of course, Jennings tried to pressure him, I think maybe Jennings should have tried to box him a little bit more, um, and this, this is what I read and what I heard, you know, so I'm going to try and watch the fight, um, you know, for a better take on everything, but, um, I just want to make a comment um, about, uh, uh, I've talked about this um, in a, a previous rant about international uh, fighters becoming big stars in the U.S. And, um, you know, here's just another example of that. You know, uh, at the end of the day, man, um, I kind of want to see this dude do well, you know. i like to see him get one of them belts, you know what I'm saying, um, be at least a regular champion or uh, possibly even a um, you know, an outright champion, for a world champion, um, whether it maybe get a shot at the IBF title, you know. I mean, I don't know, but, um, you know, I'd like to see him um, get something, man, just for the simple fact, just for uh, historical reasons. Because if you look at the uh, history of Cuban boxers, they have uh, great uh, heavyweights that came from here. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, you winning, um, you doing what TFLO Stevenson wasn't able to do. You doing what Felix Savan wasn't able to do. You know, which is win the World Heavyweight Championship. You know, and the fact that you're an interim champion right there is, is something they didn't even do. Even though they had storied amateur careers. You know, and Teofilo Tio Stevenson turned down, what, like a $7 million, $10 million contract or whatever to come and fight over here. Because he didn't like how they was treating Muhammad Ali. And, and he seen how they did American fighters and he wasn't going to go for it. Because he was like a king in Cuba. You know what I'm saying? Felix Zavon was, you know, the next big thing to come from there. You know what I'm saying? But, again, those guys, man, they didn't get the opportunity to, to have the story professional careers, you know. So, at the end of the day, they'll always be known as great amateur fighters. I mean, these dudes are the stuff of legends and the amateurs. So, you know, Ortiz got a chance to step out of that shadow and actually do something they weren't able to do. Too bad old boy had to defect to do it, but... I mean, either way it is, you know, like I said, if you just keep giving us exciting fights and thrilling us, you know, we'll get behind you, you know, at the end of the day. Um, and on that one rant, I said I was going to have a side B to that, and I never really explained, uh, explained it, um, you know, because some, some Americans, you know, ain't necessarily um, very welcome into uh, fighters from other countries, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we have a tendency just to follow American fighters, but I think the time is right now for that uh, atmosphere to change. When you look at how popular Manny Pacquiao was in the United States, um, that speaks for itself. So, you know, a heavyweight, slightly different story, but like I said, if you come and bring it and you're willing to come over to our country and establish yourself, I mean, I don't see why people ain't gonna get behind it. If you got a nice little style, we'll follow you, we'll support you, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna keep it at that. Um, again, that's one more piece to the heavyweight uh, division, the puzzle of the heavyweight division. Um, Next month, um, Deontay Wilder fights Spazilla. I'm going to tell you what, Deontay, don't take this dude lightly. Don't be looking ahead at what's going on over there I mean, and with, with Tyson Fury and Klitschko. And, and don't look at what's going on with Glasgow fighting Martin. You stay focused on this next fight, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a feeling that, man, you might slip around and mess up, dude. You're like the, the Carolina Panthers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got the belt, but a lot of people don't think you really have proven it yet. You know what I'm saying? And you out here in deep waters, man, don't go out here and drown. You know what I'm saying? You out here in deep water with no life life preserver. You know what I'm saying? You out here swimming. And it's all kind of sharks and stuff in the water, man. So, uh, 
Make sure you stay on your toes, man. But peace out. One love.